Hello everybody, I'm Red Chu, and welcome back to Spyro the Dragon. We are almost at Nasty Nork finally. This is Amos the Balloonist. Nice job collecting so much stolen treasure, but beware Spyro, Nasty's world is not the most friendly place you will find. I'm going to Nasty's world because I'm going to beat Nasty Nork. Probably not in this episode, I don't know how many worlds there are in Nasty's world here. But we'll find out, and if there aren't too many, we'll be able to beat Nasty Nork pretty soon, hopefully. That would be the best thing. This is like, this music, where have I heard this music? Oh, this is boss world music, maybe. Oh no, we still got other stuff to go. We got Nork's Cove, that's one, there's a dragon here. We got two dragons here, only 200. Okay, 200 gems. Maybe Nasty Nork's Cove is the only thing we've got. Hey, didn't I already free you? You're in Nasty's world now, Spyro, and you are the dragon who must defeat him. Bring him on! I'm ready! Reach the exit in each of Nasty's lands. Then you can challenge the Nork himself. Reach the exits in all of his... Oh... Does that mean I have to... Yeah, there are probably multiple levels. Nork's Cove, then we got that one, then that one. And I'm assuming that's Nasty Nork's level over there. I don't know. But we'll see. I don't know where all these 200 gems are in this second dragon. So... Huh. I'm not sure. I guess we'll figure it out, though. What's over here? These are gems. Why didn't I see these before? Anyway, I'm just gonna look around here and see what's up. Alright, it appears not much is up, so we're gonna go into Nork Cove, and then we'll see what's up there. Maybe each of the worlds contain the dragon. Maybe they're not separate worlds. Maybe they're not separated from that hub world. Let's see. Okay, they are. So there's 400 gems here, two more dragons to rescue. So, these guys throw barrels. This is going to be a fun thing to avoid. Oh, you can hit them. Oh, they're exploding barrels and they kill them. <laughs> awesome. I didn't realize that. Why did they explode? Do they contain explosives? Or maybe I can... No, we could do this. And shoot that. Yeah, that is good. Awesome. I know what to do now. It's such a good feeling when you know what to do. Wait for it. Okay, we got him, even though I didn't hit him directly, but I still killed him because the explosion of exploding death murdered the dude. Poor dude. These are all Norks, I'm assuming, because we're nasties or Nork Cove. This is a... Oh, this is TNT. I bet I can flame that. And... Yeah, that explodes that. That's what I was going to try to say, but I got sidetracked from saying stuff because I'm an idiot. Well, this is going to be fun. I'm not going to be able to slam my head in these, probably, because they're going to explode if I do it. Oh, dear. That didn't work out as planned. But that did. That worked out as planned, even though I wasn't trying to do that. I was trying to blow them up the side of that. Blow that barrel up. Okay. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that happened earlier up there, and I didn't record it. Well, I did record it, but I didn't commentate it, so I'm going to cut it out. But you explode those barrels while they're holding it, and they come out in their underwear. They, I don't know. Whoops. Okay, so we're out of health for sparks again. This is a typical occurrence in Spyro the Dragon. I'm always running out of health, and then I can't find any health because there's nothing around. I need some butterflies, but let us rescue Latif. I already rescued these guys. Keep up the good work, Spyro. I expect Nasty's really starting to worry about you. I'd be shaking in my Nork boots if I were him. Maybe he is shaking in his Nork boots, Spyro. You don't know. Is, does Nasty Nork even wear boots? That is a question to ponder upon. Well, there's a chest over there that needs this, I'm assuming, to open up. Let's see. Okay, that worked. That worked as planned. I got 10 gems. Did one fall down here? It looked like one fell. No, nothing fell. Apparently, it was just the particles from the exploding chest that fell. It wasn't a gem. All right, we're gonna have to go over here to make it, don't get squished by this. You are standing on that. Okay, that didn't explode. You hit me with the wrench, but that was okay because you didn't kill me, so. Get away, okay. We, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, huh. Well, I don't know how I'm gonna get this one exploded now. I can't push this TNT over there because if I slam it with my head, it's gonna go explode in my face. So I'm not gonna be able to do that. Can I? Okay, I can't do that either. So be quit being an idiot, Spyro. Actually, quit being an idiot, Red Shoe, because you're the one controlling Spyro. 
No, 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 no. God dang it. So I'm behind this dude. I thought maybe he would turn around and hit this with his barrel, but he's not going to do that. So I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to unlock this unless I get a fairy to kiss me or something. Then I can come and flame it. I don't know if that'll work. This time we're going to try to avoid the barrels and not fall off. So we just got to jump over the barrels or just get squashed by the barrels anyway. Exactly what I need to do. Crap. Oh, I bet I hit this and that goes over there and unlocks these gems. Yep, that's exactly what it did. I knew there's always a way to do things. You just got to use your mind, use your brain a little bit and be patient, I guess, in Spyro. While we're over here, we'll grab some health for Sparks since we're out of health. I'm always out of health. Come on, Bluey. Blue Sparks, I wish you were... I am a big idiot. So we go over here, I'm assuming, since there are... Do I just hear lives? I thought I heard an extra life. Maybe I didn't. Oh, right there. Duh. Right in front of me, if I would have paid attention or looked around a little bit, I might have seen it, but no, I didn't pay attention or look around. I didn't see it. We've got six lives now, so that's good. We've got 400 gems. We've got 200 already. But we still have a dragon to rescue, so we've got plenty of things to do left in this world to not get exploded like I'm doing now. Don't get hit by this barrel. Please? Okay. There we go. We killed this dude. I'm not even going to get close to you guys because I know what's going to happen. I don't have any health, so let me just explode. Okay, I guess I'm not going to explode. Crap. Oh, alright. That works. That worked. I could just flame that dude. Oh, you lost your clothing because you got exploded. There's the last dragon. So let's go over here and rescue him. I wonder which one I've already rescued this one is. Thomas. I've rescued him too. Wow. I never thought I'd be rescued, especially by such a little dragon. Uh, well, what I mean is, I always believed in you, Spyro. You gotta believe. <laughs> you gotta believe. <laughs> it's like pinball. You go over here, slam into that one. That slams into that one. No, I don't have anything to slam into that one, though. Well, I can use my flame from a distance, like that, and then I can slam into that one, like that, and then get all of the gems. There's a lot of crap to do in this world, I'm assuming. Except right there's the end. We've got a little over a hundred and... I don't know. 139 things to get. Gems to collect still. So, we will collect them. Oh, crap. We got TNT here. Well, let me just flame him. You blow them all up. Chain reaction. Like dominoes on a pizza party. Well, we could do it this way. And hit these dudes. There's one down. We also exploded that thing. I wasn't aiming at it yet. I was going to aim at it anyway, so that was good. It didn't matter. Well, let's not get close to this dude, because we don't have too much health left. Oh, we do have health. I didn't realize there were butterflies down here. Where did those butterflies come from? Were they... Were there rats down here that I didn't see them? I don't know. It doesn't matter. We've got health, and that's all that matters to me. That's a good thing. And over here, we got this dude. I'm just going to shoot that thing over there and do it again. That way he's dead. I don't know if I can fly over there. I'm not going to risk it either. I'm going to just go back over here and go this way and see if I can come over here. Okay, I can't. Oh, there's a key. Apparently, there's something that I have to unlock with a key. So it was a good thing I went over there because otherwise I would have been over there. With you. I will defeat these dudes. Oh, crap, crap, crap. On a stick. Do not let it hit me. Do not let it hit me. Look, this is an obstacle course. Holy curds. Holy curds. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, crap. There we go. We got all of that. And this is the chest that we had to unlock. Hopefully there aren't too many gems left. And hopefully I can get out of this world in one piece. We're right near the exit. So I'm assuming that we're pretty close to finding all these gems. we still got however many left. So we'll go find them. I guess maybe I do have to fly over here. Since glide over here since I didn't do it earlier. Like There's no other way to get in here that I know of. And yeah, I'm assuming so, because I got this stuff. I got another barrel. Explode. Explode. Kill them both. Why, thank you very much, game. You helped me out this time. We've got just ten gems to go, and there it was. Now we're returning home. That is good. Good. Good, good, good. Returning home. We've got 400 gems. Two dragons rescued out of this thing. This should open up another place to go. Let's see. Did it open up another place to go? Yes, it did. It opened up 
well, it doesn't say what, well, it, it will if I get close to it. Twilight Harbor is what it opened up. But that's all the time that I have for this episode. I'm only going to probably do one level per video now. Not because we're getting to the end, but because the way I've started cutting the videos again, they're getting pretty long. The last Spyro the Dragon video was almost 20 minutes long, and I don't like videos that long. So one place, one level per video should make it around 10 minutes, hopefully, maybe a little bit less give or take some I don't know but that's just what I'm gonna shoot do, gonna shoot for I'm gonna shoot to do it but anyway if you like this video slap that like button around a bit with a large trout and share it with your friends because they might like it too if you want to see more of these videos in the future go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you geese later thanks for watching I do not want to die grab it thank you very much Banjo for grabbing that bubble you stupid crappy swimming bear this is one of the few games that you really can't say you had bad level design, had bad, you know, short levels, because these levels are jam-packed with crap to do, and it takes forever to do them, and while it's honestly really good and fun that it does that, it makes it difficult to make videos of, because you just have to sit down and record for hours on a single level just to get stuff. And that... what is this? 